Hello Internet, today I'm going to show you how you can set your car amplifier gains absolutely perfectly using nothing but a cheap multimeter. It's going to be a good day. Now the question of how you set your gains has been bugging the internet for god knows how long, probably since amplifiers came out and everyone's been clipping their shit and going, eh, why does all my stuff stink? Well that's because you're probably burning it and that's bad. Now if you ask on the internet, everyone's going to go, you can't set your gains correctly without an oscilloscope, and to an extent that is true. If you're going to get ee, then they are all expensive, like this one was like 200 odd quid and you, people don't have that. People just want to be able to like set their stuff up. Most people have a multimeter and if you don't have a multimeter, step away from your car because you're about to set it on fire. <laughs> now for the purposes of this test, I'm going to be using this Alpine head unit and that's where we're going to start. You have to start at the head unit because your head unit might lie to you. So a lot like cheap amplifiers you buy when they say they do 2000 watts and you open them up and there's almost nothing inside them, cheap head units will do the same thing. They will lie to you about the output. Now the two things you want to look for on the output of a head unit is one, obviously the RMS rating of what it can put out through the normal speaker uh, wires that come out the back of it, that's fine. But for the purposes of this, you're running an external amplifier. So you need to look at the pre-out voltage from the head unit. Now much like an amplifier, obviously you can clip a head unit, and yes, clipping does get you more power, but it's a dirty signal and it then makes stuff smell and that's what kills all your equipment. You don't want that. So I'm going to show you right now how you know where your head unit does its recommended clean pre-out voltage. Right, so on this bench we've got a head unit, we've got our RCAs coming out of it. It's a Bluetooth head unit, so I'm going to be connected to it via Bluetooth. You're only going to need this voltmeter, and I'm going to show you why. Your RCA cables are very simple. You've got this bit around the outside, which is your earthing shield, and this bit over here, which is your actual signal. Now, what comes through these is actually AC voltage. Obviously, yes, your car runs on DC, but there are transformers inside that turn it back into AC. So this is AC voltage coming out of here. So you're gonna want your voltmeter. You're gonna wanna put it to AC volts, which is that one there. I'm then gonna get my very old phone, Bluetooth it to this head unit, Alpine. Okay, pair, pair. Wonderful, we're connected. Now the head unit I'm using is this. It's an Alpine something UTE 92BT. We're gonna scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until we find what the pre-out voltage is. Now the pre-out is what your RCA is, and that is the strength of the signal that is gonna be sent out to your, there you go, look, power watt, four by 50 watt high power amplifier. That's gonna be max power, that's not gonna do that. So three pre-outs at two volts, front, rear, and subwoofer. So all of the three pre-outs in the back of this head unit are gonna put out two volts. Now we're gonna test that and see if how accurate that is. So the first thing I'm gonna do is absolutely max out the head unit, put it to like 100% volume, and show you the voltage that is at the end of these. Now remember, it says we've got two volts of pre-out. So we're gonna press play on our tone, which we know is playing through the head unit. We're gonna turn the head unit up. Our subwoofer level is all the way maxed out. So we max this one out at 35. I'm gonna probe the black one on the RCA shield. I'm gonna probe the middle one on the signal pin. Now remember, we have two volts of clean pre-out. Maxed out, this is doing 2.7 volts. So now what we're gonna to wanna to do is turn the head unit down until we get to two volts. So we need to, we're gonna go down to I don't know, 26. Where are we now? 2.4 volts, so we're still in clip. 25, 24, 23. This is where the wave was clean. We're at 1.8 volts, 1.7, 1.8 volts. Go up to 24. There you go, 2.1 volts of pre-out. So between 23 and 24 is the clean spot. Now, if we double check that with the scope, I'll show you the wave. So that wave, has a little bit of clip in it. 23, we said the, the point was between 23 and 24 and that is completely clean. So now you're at your point where you know that everything coming out of your head unit and through these little RCA cables is pretty spot on. So now we're at the situation where we have the amplifier. So we're gonna take the RCA cables. We know that they max out at 2.7 volts. I'm gonna plug these in here when I've got two hands. So we've got our amplifier on, we've got our scope plugged in, we've got our RCAs plugged in and we've got our head unit set to 23, which is where we decided the clip point was. So what I'm now gonna do, you'll notice that on this, it says 0.3 to five volts RMS, and then it says nothing up to like 10, which doesn't really help us at all. So with this one, we know that the max RMS voltage input is five volts for this potentiometer. So how do we then work out where two volts is on that? So we know 100% is five volts, and it's quite simply, you just divide it down. So we know one volt is 20%, two volts is 40%, blah, 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 blah. So how do we work out where 40% is? So fortunately on this, if you look at these numbers as percentages, we can take our little screwdriver, 
make it so that that little notch goes up to the four, which is there. We've got a bit of soft clip, so I've probably gone slightly over. Down just a touch. And there we go, we're completely happy. So now just to show that works on more than just this amplifier, I'm going to change the amplifiers. So on the Alpine it's not actually tremendously helpful, because if it focuses at any given point, there we go, it shows us where min is, where max is and where 0.5 is. So we need to have a quick look in the manual. And what the manual tells us for this amplifier is, where is it, was it there? There it was, if you look here, you'll see input gain up to the minimum 4 volt position. So we now know that this goes from 0 to 4 volts. Then we just want to make sure that this potentiometer is on zero volts, which it is. And you haven't got to be a genius to work out that if four volts is 100%, then the two volts of input that we've got is going to be 50%. So then we know the gain knob has to be at 50%. Let's have a go. Now you may well imagine that 50% would be there, right? Halfway round. No, that's incorrect. So 50% is actually directly opposite what the highest value on the potentiometer is. So we want to get completely op directly opposite where it says gain, uh, max, sorry. And then we have it perfectly. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna notch it up ever so slightly to show you that that is correct. There's a little bit, clip. And there is your clip point. Now you have to bear in mind, if you go up to what you call halfway, which is there, which is where we were clipping like anything, you're directly, you're thinking that this is part of the potentiometer. It's not, this is a dead zone. There is nothing here, it doesn't do anything. Opposite max is where your halfway is. Once again, the kicker goes up to 11. That's not very useful, so we check the specs. And we can see that the specs of the kicker just here are 0.1 to five volts. Which means we now know that the 11 is five volts. And we know that half of that directly opposite is going to be 2.5 volts over there. So I'm going to set it at the moment to be directly opposite the 11. So that's a 2.5 volts. Clip to ship. So then we're going to drag it down ever so slightly to where our 2 volts would be. And we're lovely. So here's a quick recap and run through. Get a pen. Find your head unit online. Look at what the pre-out voltage is. Get your settings to where you want them. Turn the volume up until you've got your pre-out voltage on the other end of your RCA. So you want to put the black probe on AC voltage, the black probe from your multimeter, on the shield, the red probe on the little pin in the middle until you get the right voltage. Then plug it into your amp. Work out what the input voltage is on your amplifier. Break it down into what percentage and how far up that dial needs to go. It's quite easy to break it down into 10%, so it's really not that bad. And then bada bing, bada boom, set it to the right position and suddenly you're not gonna burn your shit. Have a good day, I've been Adam. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, show it to your friend, show it to your gran, I don't really mind. Have fun, enjoy your life. Bye.